Long drive session tonight, and I always warm up with a 7-iron. So, what better 7-iron to warm up with than the brand new, good-looking Ping G710. However, what are the drawbacks? What are my thoughts? How far does it go? brand new video it's Simon down here at Burford Golf Lab and yes we're gonna hit the Ping G710 and yes I'm gonna give you my thoughts however there's a few things that when I'm standing over this club I do want to tell you and give you some advice on because this is a mistake a lot of people make when they go and buy a set of irons just like this one so let's not mess about let's get straight into it yes the Ping G710 looks very nice there's no question about that and if anything Ping have brought out the better looking irons over the most recent years Rather, I'm not going to name names, some iron manufacturers haven't brought out or haven't stepped up, I'm not going to lie. If you go down the route of this Ping G710 and you have the swing speed for it and it gives you great numbers, when you get fitted for a 7 iron and they ask you what set makeup you want, you're going to say 6 to sandwich or 6 to pitch and wedge. Please do not get a 5 iron in this set and I could use that for quite a few other heads that are out there, mainly because if you're hitting this 115 to 120, i.e. your club head speed um, is around 65 miles an hour, you're gonna hit this about 115 to 120 miles um, yards, Therefore, your six iron's gonna go 125, 130 in the air. Your five iron's gonna carry 115 in the air and run out to exactly the same yardage as your six iron. So, that's my top tip for today. If you want to go and get fitted for these and you like the look of them, feel of them, and everything else, please do not get a five iron, get a seven wood, or get a five a rescue, because they're gonna produce better numbers in the long run. Number two, these look a lot sleeker and a lot less offset, which for me as a club fitter is gonna be a lot easier to put in someone's hands and they go, oh, I don't like game improvement irons. The black does make it look slimmer. There's no question about that. Um, and it just looks meaner and sharper, um, uh, which for a club fitter, normally when someone comes in and goes, I want more forgiveness, I want more club head speed, I want more distance, but I want a blade. And you're standing there going, well, I can't do that, unfortunately. Um, so as a club point of, fitter point of view, I've always loved fitting for ping because it's very easy. Lie angle, um, all the color code system, everything's hand built um, to purpose. That's why they don't have bundles and bundles of stock at the end of the year to ship off um, because everything's built to purpose. Um, so as a club fitter, Thank you, lovely looking head, it's gonna be nice fitting with it. And everyone's been talking about the head, but let's be honest, the head's not really gonna give you anything different. It's exactly the same loft as the Ping G700. Uh, it looks better, but in terms of ball speed, etc., etc., you're not gonna see much difference. And if anything, it's gonna give you 5% more MOI, but you probably won't be able to tell that, just like I won't be able to tell that. But what I am excited about is this 40 gram, 42 gram to be exact, Distanza shaft which I fitted with this Distanza 40 gram shaft for a driver and it's one of the most favorite ping driver shafts that's ever come out. It just adds launch and distance for that slower swing speed player, which is why I'm excited to hit this because hopefully it's gonna do exactly the same for the G700. Um, most 40 gram shafts that I use to fit with are lady shafts, which automatically put men off because they're like, I'm not a lady. And at the same time, they feel very whippy and they've got a very small grip on it because they are for a lady swing. Or a lady that has a slow swing, I should say. There's a lot of ladies that swing it a lot further than men. However, this looks bad ass. 40 grams with a black head. I could put this into someone's hands and they go, oh, I like the look of that which basically puts all the notion of soft regular or seniors flex or game improvement iron out the window and they're gonna go, brilliant, this works, I'll have a set. Can I get a five iron? No, you can't, you don't need a five iron, get a seven wood. So let's give it a hit and I imagine this is going to go very high and I imagine it's gonna go about 220 yards because that's exactly how far I hit my six iron because this is lofted to exactly the same. However, because it's so strong lofted, that is why I always advise, and there's so many sets nowadays that I fit literally seven to pitch and wedge, because 
There's no need for a six iron. There's no need for a five iron because they're strong lofted, but they have to be strong lofted because so much weight is in the back. It's not because they keep lowering the lofts. They're lowering the lofts, but also they're producing high launch, which means you're going to get the ball higher and stop it quicker. Backspin doesn't mean the ball's going to stop. It's not going to hit the green and just zip. You want that launch and you want that ball coming down vertically so you can carry something and basically hit the ground and stop. Okay, enough talking. Let's see how far we can hit it. Let's see if we can get 220 plus, maybe 230, I don't know. Um, and let's see what ball speeds and club head speeds that we can obviously get this bad boy up to because it's just so light, but it doesn't feel light. Like it doesn't, it's not like whip whip, but it's just like light from head to toe. So it's just well balanced, which I do like. And I think it's gonna go down quite well this year even if it is 169 at the top end. Some fast swings coming up. Obviously, Ping has said this is the fastest, most forgiving iron that they've ever produced. It'd be a bit disappointing if it wasn't. Um, if you watch my most recent video on um, manufacturers and obviously what they say, another 5% MOI. So at the moment, from 1995, we've gone up about 180% in terms of MOI. So that's interesting. But let's see how far it goes. So light in the hands. That is sky high. Woo! But that's what it's designed for. Let's be honest. If I've got someone that swings a club at 60 miles an hour, 50 miles an hour, I need something that's going to get that ball in the air. I need it to get over a bunker and stop. And that's also why, if someone's getting fitted for this, seven irons potentially, with today's loft standard, the highest iron they should have, or lowest iron I should say they should have. Oh, he's caught that one. I might change the ball tracer. That's got some snow on it. Carrying at about 200 yards. 213, 141 ball speed. All right, what's, what have we got now? 101 miles an hour. Come on, this is a light shaft, Simon. Let's see some proper speeds now. Let's see how fast we can put this out. Now that's quick, but I called it a tiny bit thin, which means that it's going to check up quite quickly. What ball speed we're saying there? 149, 103 club head speed. Okay, you ready for this? 230 yards, 7 iron. Hands forward, back in the stance. See you later. Oh, she could go. She could go. Just got to keep carrying a tiny bit and then run out. Oh, not far off. 224 yards with a seven iron. Well, six iron, let's say that. All right, okay, and again. See if we can kind of catch this one a tiny bit better. But spin's gonna kill you. Spin's gonna kill you there. I think that's the more important thing you should know as well. When it comes down to irons, getting the right spin, the loft, so the ball doesn't balloon when you're into wind, and it doesn't lose too much carry because you're not hitting it hard enough, that is an iron fit at the end of the day. Forget the number on the bottom of the golf club. You need five to six irons that each have a yardage, each have a purpose. I've hit that. Would I ever use that swing on a golf course? Never. Is it fun to watch? Yes. Will it get to 230? No. <laughs> 107 club head speed. It's just a light club. There's no question about it. It's light, it's forgiving. It's everything that you would expect from a pin club, yet it looks good. However, 169 for an individual steel club. That's up to you. She's struck. She was struck. Will it be the one? 232, 107, 156. Done. So guys, there you have it. Nothing particularly new with the head. Nothing that I personally could tell in my hands. However, it is a proper ping club. 
if that makes any sense. It's forgiving, it's high MOI, as all the other ones have been, but it looks unbelievable. And the more exciting thing is that it's got this 40 gram shaft that doesn't look or feel like a 40 gram shaft. If you were thinking about this club, and it does work well for me with you in terms of numbers, don't get bought into the fact you need a five iron, to be perfectly honest. It'd be great as a three iron head, in terms of a driving iron head, but if you've got a slow swing speed, i.e. 60 miles an hour, you don't need a five iron in this. Potentially not a six iron either. But overall, I love the look, I love the feel. Leave this video a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you are new. I'm pretty knackered even though I've now got a whole long live session to now go through. And I'll catch you guys later.